Hi there, Obik here. So in this video, we will be creating a PWA with Next.js. Now I will be demonstrating this using two examples, two different examples. The first example does not fetch any data from external sources and it is a single page application. And the second example fetches data from external REST API. It is a multi-page application and in offline mode, this application will show a fallback page for all those pages which are not cached at that moment so in the first example i will be using an existing application i have created earlier using next.js that is the rock paper scissor game which was also a front-end mentor challenge and i also have a video if you go to my channel you can see my video here on this topic so if you refresh let me refresh this you can see this if i choose rock then the house speaks something and then as we win again play again like this if i press the advanced mode it will open this advanced mode if i press the rules working fine so this is what we, i have we have built so far i mean i have built so far so now i will convert it to a pwa so the first thing that i will do is i will open up my terminal and then i will write npm i double hyphen save next hyphen pwa and then I will press enter. It will take some time and then it will install this next PWA. So after that is done, I will close my terminal and then I will go to my public directory. Now inside the public directory, I have downloaded two icons, icon 512 by 512 and another is icon.png. These both are PNG images and I have faced them from Google. Now I will also link you these icons otherwise you can create your own icons or you can download other icons from google so inside the public directory i will create a file that is manifest.json manifest.json pws cannot exist without manifest.json so here i have given it a name of rock paper scissor i have given a short name of rps icons will be the icon i have linked like this and then I have given a theme color, a background color, a start URL, a display, a standalone, an orientation portrait and then I will save this. So with that being done, now I will, what I will do is inside the pages directory, I will create a document.js underscore document.js. So the first thing that I will do is I will import this document HTML head main next script from this uh, next slash document. Then what I will do is. I will create a class of a class component my document that extends document and then it will render and inside this render function it will return html these html's obviously and inside this html it will render this a head and in this head it will render link with rail of manifest and href will be this manifest.json this public directory manifest.json that we just created then it will have the apple touch icon which will be the icon and the theme color will be discounted and this three is absolutely necessary i will have this body tags inside this body we will have this main and next script and finally we will export this default this class component with that being done here in the root of this uh, project i will create a next dot config dot js this is the last step what i will do inside this next dot config dot js is I will get the constant with pwa require next pwa so then we will do is module dot exports equal to with pwa and we will wrap this with pwa inside that we will have a pwa object inside this pwa object we will have this dest is to public then register will be true and skip waiting will be true now i will save this and what next i will do is I will open up the terminal then what i will do is i will run npm run build and this might take some time as well so after this build process happens we will proceed further now what i will do is i will run npm run start and this will start a local server so inside the browser i will open the local host 3000 port so if you visit the website you can see that there is this plus button if you press it it will open this prompt to install this pwa so this is a pwa but let me test this using lighthouse so if i go to this tab here you can see that there is this button and here lighthouse so if i press this i will check the progressive web app and i will check any of that 
device will work so if i will start generating report and this might take some time as well and then it re results in progressive web app it is fast reliable installable and pwa optimized however we can see that start url does not respond with a 200 run offline start url did respond but not via a service worker so what the author shadow worker says is this issue could be reproduced but it, it seems to be an issue with lighthouse this url is indeed responded through a service worker so let me check whether our url is responded with service worker or not so i go to the network and then if i refresh this page you can see that the size here here it says that if you hover it says served from service worker served from service worker so everything is served from service worker now let me do this online change this to offline so the network mode is changed to offline if i refresh this then also this page is showing let me change this to iphone x and if i hard reload in windows it is control shift r then also it is reloading so it's working absolutely fine so let me just uh, see if the game is game can be playable and it is playable obviously advanced mode is also working rules is also working so everything is working as desired so let's begin with our second example and in this example we actually fetch some data from a rest api and also we use a multi-page approach another thing is we also use use effect as well as we also i mean uh, use a fallback page so let me show you so this is the index.js and uh, here we import some uh, use effect use state use router etc we use the gate sta sta static props and, and fetch this api endpoint and then we use some use state you router also and then use effect to fetch paginated data as well and then here is our uh, rendering of this data also i use this button group to i mean uh, fetch paginated data as well so we push this router for fetching another paginated data and this id.js this is the uh, second page obviously and it fetches this data it uses gate static paths it uses gate static props as well and it also uses this uh, data it also renders this data so let me show you what it looks like it looks like this and if i press next it will fetch the next page and if i press next again it will fetch the next page again so let me open anyone and it will open up this page here and if i press the back button of my browser then it will go to that page page 3 if i press the previous button it will go to page 2 and if i press the previous button it will go to page 1 and if i press the pre previous button again it will not work so that's what we have built i have built till now then we also have created a fallback.js then inside the document.js underscore document.js we have the same html uh, uh, links i have uh, and meta tag i have already shown previously app.js is the similar Next.config.js, we instead of using skip waiting and register, we will be using SWSRC service worker SRC, I guess, service worker.js. So we will be actually creating a custom service worker ourselves. Now and manifest.json will be the same. We have this icon, same icons here inside the public directory. As you can see, I have faced the same icons here. So here inside the service worker.js, as you can see in the uh, root of this project where I have created the service worker.js, what I will do is I will go to the Chrome, I mean uh, any web browser. I will go to this next PWA examples uh, link. I have already linked it in the description. So what I will do is uh, offline go to this offline fallback example. And this is an official example by next PWA. And here I will go to this service worker.js file. I will open it in the new link and then i will go to this raw and then i will blindly copy paste them i will explain this briefly so what we do is we uh, import some stuff from a workbox and some strategies etc routing p caching etc then we skip waiting and clients claim then we include some uh, manifest model from workbox and we also pre-cache this fallback route and we clean out outdated caches then we start register registering routes so this is the restart url it will be network first strategy then this is this google fonts 
which will be cache first strategy then we will use this uh, static font assets which will be stale while you validate then we will use network only for the images now this is because the example which this example next or uh, a pw offline fallback example uses this disabling of image caching instead they show placeholder images whenever it is offline and our example next.js project does not use any images at all so for us we it doesn't matter whether we pre-cache or uh, um, we don't cache at all so you instead of network only you can also use uh, i mean a cache first approach whatever suits you so along with that i will uh, still will reevaluate for js assets static js assets for static style asset like CSS files, it will also use tail while revalidate. For network first approach for JSON files, for API endpoints, it will use network first. And for any other stuff, it will use network first. And it will also use a state a set default handler for stale while revalidate strategy for all other requests. Now here comes the set catch handler. So that means we catch anything that uh, does not fall to our routes or if our any of our routes that we uh, cached here, these register routes, if any of them fail to actually uh, generate a response, then we use this set catch handler. Here we have this case documents uh, return a match pre cache of this fallback and this fallback will return this fallback page. Then for the image, uh, as I said here, they use the static images fallback. For fonts, it uses the uh, 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 fallback font URL, if any. And for default, it will return the response.error if they don't have any fallback. Then what I will do is I will open up my terminal. I will run npm run build. And these will take some time, obviously. So after that is done, I will run npm run start. And these will start our local server. So after it is started the server, what I will do is I will go to the local uh, browser. I will go to the local host 3000. And you can see this install icon here. This install next PWA. And this is what it's working like. So let me open up the console. And let me check for the lighthouse score. So I will check this progressive web app and generate the report like I did previously and it will take some time and it is the uh, PWA. So next thing we will do is I will uh, see this is not a responsive website and I have just created for the demonstration of offline fallback. So what I will do is I will uh, check this to offline and then I will reload this page. And you can see here, this is an offline fallback page. When off, offline, any route will fall back to this page written here. So if I open this localhost 3000, it opens this page as this has already been pre-cached. And when we open this, uh, any of the links here, it will open to this offline fallback page. So this behaves like a PWA now. So if I press the next, it will still open to the fallback page. Now if I make it online, I refresh this page if I open and you can see that the pages are working online but when we are offline it won't work or it might because this has been pre-cached if I refresh this page and still it is pre-cached but if I reload this it's offline fallback again and if I open it from here it's pre-cached so things are working absolutely as desired so I will suggest you to go to the next pwa official repository and then go to these examples directly there are nine examples please go through each of them so that you one of them will definitely fit your use case this is uh, uh, these examples are very easy to understand you just you need to go to any example and then read these instructions present here then you can understand a lot and if you still want to uh, understand more then you can open these files obviously so with that being said, this is my the rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spawn, the first example and I have already added the PWA commits. Now you can uh, uh, get this code and you can check about the PWAs, how PWAs are working in this example. And this is the second example. 
please go to visit this next tutorial uh, repository and go to the PWA branch and there you can get the final code about this PWA as the second example whatever I did in second example you can get this code so thank you for watching this video if you are benefited from this video then do leave a like and comment and subscribe to my channel otherwise thank you for watching this video and for my subscribers thank you for supporting me